Earthshaker MPU that had some alkaline corrosion on it. And the client had done most of the abatement. This is all of his work here. Not too bad. Uh, I cleaned up a few other places like uh, where these LEDs are. And gosh, those are bright, aren't they? They were corroded. And I uh, put some rectangular ones on there because I like the way it looks. Looks like Star Trek. But boy, they are bright. And I replaced this 22 microfarad cap. This header up here. I fixed what was incorrect down here in the blanking section. Put some labels on the ROMs and uh, installed NVRAM and it's good to go. So let's put it through its test. I can show you what the A side and the C side stuff do on this game. So music test and this is all coming from the soundboard. All we're really doing there is proving that the, the sound board is communicating correctly with the CPU board display test. On my very nice X-Pen display that I use for a lot of the testing on Daddy East and Williams games, X-Pen, uh, in my opinion, makes a really nice display. And it's got a jumper here for either Data East or Williams games. And this one here supports a lot of games. It's not listed on there. All right, moving on. The next test is sound test. So that's all coming from the MPU board itself. So the sound section's working. Here's the lamp matrix working on my homemade lamp matrix tester. And the next test is single lamps. And that's lamp one that's blinking. And I'll just hold down the credit button. And you can see that all those lamps were working just fine. The next test is solenoid test. And I'm going to hold down the AC select switch to show you how that functions. Now it's doing both the A side and the C side. There's A, C, A, C. Now if I were to let up on this switch, it would only do the A side because Earthshaker and some of the more advanced games want to know that the AC select relay is in the correct position. So now I'm going to let up. Uh, after the third one. Okay. Now it'll do the A side, but not the C side. I'll press back down again. And we're back to normal. On Earthshaker, that's switch two. Okay. Next test is switch levels. I'm going to go to switch edges instead. I like that better. I use my Penny Tech test device for that. All of column one. And all of row one. And Earthshaker just goes to switch 58. Strange that they continue that tradition. Now here's the AC, A side, C side test. Now you can see it's, it's throwing an error on the C side. I'm going to hold down switch two, and then it'll throw, start throwing an error on the A side, and the C side is fine. Now, I could try to time that, but I'm sure I wouldn't beat the game software. So that is working properly, and that's all there is. I put the game into um, free play, and since there's NVRAM in there, it's going to be good to go when the customer gets it back. Back to attract mode with all the lamps doing their thing and Star Trek doing its thing. So from the bridge of the USS Earth Shaker, 
signing off. <laughs>